black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a damn fire at Reality Temple. Reality Temple. My black people. It's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody moving me. Like Dr. King, we make it plain and simple. Bringing down a damn fire at Reality Temple. sitting on this for a little bit, you know what I mean? But a couple of things that came out, you know what I'm saying, in, in my in my light and dealing with uh, motherfuckers in the concert community, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, damn, this shit is crazy. It, it, I done had it directly affect me, but it ain't phased me, you know what I'm saying? But, like, I know people that it took hella losses with this shit, and it's, it's starting to fuck with me, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a bully picking on a on a, on a key or, or 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 a person that he can fuck with and they can't fuck back with him. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like I'm in a light to say, even though I've been victimized, but not to the extent to where I've I've lost who I am and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Or, or I'm ashamed to come out and say what happened uh, uh, in my personal uh, experience. So I'm going to change the course if I could. You know what I'm saying? Go on and tell my story. You know what I'm saying? Or, or what I want to let people know that's in the concert community at this period. You know what I mean? By motherfuckers in the concert community. What's going on? All right. Uh, I mean, everybody know, you know what I'm saying, who Brother Polite is and shit like that. So, uh, I'm going to tell you, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I got to let this shit out. You know what I mean? Fuck it with me. And this is for the people. This is for me because I got to get off my chest. But this is really for the people who don't want to come out. And, and say, you know what I'm saying, what's what, you know what I'm saying, and then endeavors with the guy, you know what I mean, but I'm going to go ahead and put it on wax, you know what I mean. I started fucking with dude, and uh, let's see, I, I'm pretty sure everybody know when him, Sadie, and Umar did that little, um, the little, um, damn, I forgot what it's called, but they did it in December of 2011, you know what I'm saying, when they did that whole lecture shit. That's when I really jumped on board, and like, okay, that, you know what I'm saying, and articulate and shit like that, cool, I respect him, family shit, right, so it kind of stood out to me, you know what I mean, and previously to that, you know what I'm saying, I've been in the, the information and shit for quite some time, probably about six six years or something like that, and then um, I've seen him in person, I've never met nobody in the concert community in person, you know what I mean, and my guy brought him here in February following the following year, 2012. And I got a chance to meet him and shit, you know what I mean? So that kind of really stood out to me, like, okay, this, he traveling around and shit, actually meeting the people, woo, woo. And um, man, he personally met his family. It was, like, it, it was beautiful, you know what I mean? And mm-hmm. I, I hooked up with him. But previously to that, I joined. Before I even met him, I joined. After I watched that whole uh, lecture and shit, I joined New Covenant, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And probably a couple weeks after that, I, I, they contacted me through email, not him, but the person that deals with the administration and all that shit, contacted me through email, let me know what was what, when they were going to call me and contact me, okay? And everything I'm saying, I'm going to, I can prove it. So anybody got any rebuttals on this phone line, they can call in or they can call me, whatever. You, you can call out my phone, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? They can call me and I tell them what's what. I'm not going off speculation. This is everything that I know for sure. That's why I'm coming from a personal point of view. So, anyway, the guy that he has working side next to him, whatever, dealing with the paperwork and shit, he calls me. You know what I'm saying? I'm out with my family and shit. It's my son's birthday. He called me. I'm telling him. He called me back in about an hour, man. He called me back and uh, asked me a few questions, you know what I mean, what I want to do, you know, what's my purpose and all that shit. And I told him, you know what I'm saying, I want to invest. You know what I mean? I got family and shit. I got kids. I got a wife. You know what I mean? I'm young. I'm, I'm trying to find, you know what I'm saying, my niche in life to start out something to invest in and grow and help other people. You feel me? So I paid for uh, the status correction and the trust and all that shit. I told you how much it costs. It don't matter. Let me know what's what, and I'll pay for it. Send me an invoice. And he did that. 
You know what I mean? And I paid for This is what I paid for when I first started out. I paid for the staff direction. I paid for the trust. And I paid my dues up for the year. I told him, I'm going to pay the dues up for a year. This is February 10th. So that's 10 months. $30 uh, dues, that's $300 right there, okay? So add that up. The, the, the status correction is $550 now, but it wasn't $550 when I started, okay? Most people probably don't even notice. It was $400, okay? And the trust was 500 all right? So when I first started out, I paid about a little over $1,200, okay? When I first started out fucking with it, plus the the uh, application fee, which was like $70 or some shit like that, you know what I mean? So we're going to say 1300 okay? Now, they started the radio station and shit. After I met him or whatever, I chopped it up, let him know. The guy was like, let him know. I said, he coming to my state, man, a few days. He's like, okay, that's cool. I'm going to let him know. You chop it up with him and let him know you, uh, I let him know you pay for everything. Woo, woo. I'm like, okay. So when he got here, I was playing, wrapped it up. It was all love, you know what I mean? And from that point on, we kind of had a, we kind of started a relationship, you know what I mean? So I, I could call him every now and then and talk to him, text him, whatever. He just hit me right back. Him and the boy, Luan. Everybody know this nigga, man. They be on the radio. So I ain't no oh. thing. Dude, his name Luan. I mean, motherfucker that listens to New Covenant Radio, he been on the radio with him. He's a cool cat, you know what I mean? Uh, but everybody know his name. It's, it's, he's been on the radio, so there ain't no hiding motherfuckers' names. Everybody know who's who, so... Uh, he um he he does the paperwork. He walks you through the paperwork, and he does they exactly how they started saying what they was doing. That's how it was going. You know what I'm saying? Walk you through the paperwork. You can call and, and text or whatever, email and shit, questions and shit like that. And they used to hit me right back. This is how I knew the clientele and the membership wasn't high. And this is back in February 2012. Okay. Now, fast forward a few months. My shit was I was moving with the status shit. I was moving. Doing everything, whatever I need to do, calling. And he let me know what's what, what to look for, how to do this, how to do that. I'm like, okay. After he did this lecture with Paul Mooney, I guess motherfuckers like, oh, okay, this nigga's a real deal, whatever. I guess he convinced people, you know what I'm saying? So motherfuckers start joining. So after May, which is when he had that, that whole how to outthink your oppressor shit, and he brought Paul Mooney on the set, he got a lot of more membership, okay? And then... I guess this is around the time when him and Inky start having a little conflict or whatever. I think it was a little bit after that. Him and Inky, you know what I'm saying, split ways. You know what I mean? Inky did what he did on the radio. And, and Inky kind of really let us know off jump. Like, he didn't go all the way in. You know what I mean? I, I don't know why. You know what I'm saying? Maybe because of conflict of interest. Both of them in the conscious community, you know what I mean? They providing services. Well, I don't have that problem because I don't deal with the conscious community like that. I'm, I'm in it with the information and shit like that, sharing with people with the information. But I got my own fucking source of income, so this don't, this don't mean shit to me. You know what I mean? It's not going to hurt me by me saying this. Like, people don't stop fucking with me because I don't really know what the fuck is. So, uh, after after May, this is when, you know what I'm saying, I kind of stopped uh, being able to contact them, you know what I'm saying, within the, a few hours or the next day maybe. You know what I mean? It, it'll stretch out weeks and shit, then months. And then I'll write some email him or call him and shit, leave him a message, like, you know what I mean? Let him know what I need need to happen and shit. And he'll hit me back, whatever. Like, okay, cool, we'll chop it up. Because he kept coming back to Indiana, you know what I'm saying? He came, he came here about five, six times, you know what I'm saying? And before he come here, we already have established – what we going to rectify. So I shouldn't have to remind you when I come here because you know who I am. I'm, I'm damn, I was damn near the only one in Indiana that started everything. You know what I'm saying? So I was damn near on the forefront of everybody uh, uh, in Indiana. Damn near in the Midwest, tell you the truth. You know what I'm saying? So you know who I am, man. You know what I mean? Everybody else is just asking you questions and shit, buying the books. Nigga, I already bought the books. You know what I mean? And this is not an attack on it. I'm not attacking it. You know what I mean? So whoever's hearing this that know him and fuck with him, that's cool. You know, I, I I respect the guy, you know what I mean, for what he did. If he really was a crip or whatever, whatever he was, I respect what he did. He changed something, you know what I'm saying? Because I know people that's like that's like what he used to be, what he said he used to be, you know what I mean, and, and changed their life. And I respect him for that, you know what I mean? So I'm not attacking him. I'm not trying to do none of that. I'm trying to rectify this problem that we got in this country community with motherfuckers coming out and, and pushing things and 
they might start out with a good intention or whatever, but it gets ahead of them. And this is why I think what happened. The, the clientele and the momentum picked up so fast, it caught him off guard. You know what I'm saying? So even if he even if he started with great intentions, he should have fell back. You know what I'm saying? And this is what tell we, me what really me. what it really is because I'm not um oh right, well shit able this to is like this. so many people so many people have joined and paid their money and nothing's been completed. You see what I'm saying? So here it what is, is what what was expected from um okay because let me just get this straight. And I'm playing the the neutral side right now. So, okay, you know there was an application fee. Right. You paid your dues. Mm Mm-hmm. And the status changed, and you did that. Well, I paid for it. Yeah. Oh, you only paid for it, so your status is still the same? Hell, yeah. I'm still in the same position, you know what I'm saying, I was. When I first started, and I paid for a trust, a private trust to set up. You know what I mean? Like, okay, first of all, explain the status change for us. What did he say the status change is about? Okay, pretty much everybody out here that, that's doing this nationality and, and uh, secure party credit or shit, uh, it's a secure party credit. You call it a secure party credit status. Okay, you, you're changing basically your legal position, okay, meaning... You 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 turning yourself. You yeah, but a who creditor. did you pay the four hundred dollars to? To uh, do Luan. Like, see, mm-hmm. now it's different. The, the guy Luan, that the, the uh, that's a caseworker. He's a caseworker. He's the caseworker for New Covenant, and I believe he's the only caseworker for New Covenant because if he wasn't, there'd be other caseworkers. You know, saying okay, that come out. Okay, did you make a check out to but, New Covenant, or did you no, make no, a no, check no. out this, to Luan? This is what happened. This is how it went down. I talked to Luan on the phone, and he sent me an invoice, and I I paid it through his company. That's how I paid it. When it when it came when it came through PayPal, it said his name, whatever his his group it, it was something group, his last name and group, Abram Group. Company. Okay. Okay, so that's who I paid. Now now it's different, you know. So okay, you're going but you knew, But let me just make sure. So New Covenant. Polite vouch for Lawan's company to be the caseworker over status look, change or secure party change. See, look, I don't know how they, I don't know, I don't, I don't know that like that. Well, that's see, well, look, how did you know Lawan and his group? No, he doesn't have a group. That's just well the name of the. I understand his company the, absolutely. So right. that's what I'm asking. How did you know about him? Where did you find out about him at through Polite, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so that means that all you got to do is connect the dots. So that means that Polite brings in LaJuan company and makes $400 off of status applications or whatever, right? Yeah, let's say that. Huh? Let's say that. Right, because if I I bring you in to, to my members, that means that you're going to be making money off of the services that you provide to my members. So right. this showing you that polite vouch for him. So now your status situation uh, is still the same. And how long has this? Has, how long since you paid Lawan? This was last year, in February. Okay. All right. And what? What is it? September. I'm almost two years. Okay. So, all right, now let's go so, into the trust now. Tell me about the trust. They don't even they don't even exist. Like I ain't even ever started. You gotta have your you have to go through that step first, okay? Because previously you you, never you have to go through what step? The status correction first. And this is based then, on somebody that done took your money. You still ain't a, a secure party yet, and you're giving me the steps as if it is the right steps to go into a trust. You about right, to tell me the on. steps that does not work for you, that they told you. In order to get a trust, you got to get you got to become a secure party. Correct? That's what they're telling you. Well, you you transfer everything over to the trust. It's a private it's a private entity that you form. You and know you are repeating right. this to me. From what what is your source of if, where are you getting this from? 
this is the information that he displayed. Right. So right. I'm asking you not to give me the information that he displayed because this right. information hadn't got you nowhere. Right. I'm I'm no, I ain't, I ain't I ain't even trying to go. I'm just giving I'm just I know, I I'm just doing. want you to take it slow because I'm right. I wanna help you. I don't give a okay. fuck about nobody else right now. I just wanna help you. Yeah. So before I could before we could like, you know, correct this situation Oh. I mean, you're going to need to be completely brainwashed off that bullshit that Lawan and goddamn Polite told you. No, so listen, insta- listen, So I'm don't done. repeat what Paul and Luke said. We about to have yeah. a brand new conversation about this shit. Yeah. I know that they fucked you. I could tell that right. they fucked you. Yeah. I know that they fucked you. I could tell that right. they fucked you because we're talking about two years now. Two years, he got four hundred dollars, and your status has not changed. But I'm sure you filled out a whole bunch of paperwork, correct? Peep game, peep game, Don. It ain't. I ain't even worried about me. I'm telling you, I, this is what I'm calling. I'm calling for people that either either scared or ashamed that they got, look. I'm not. I'm not the only one. And this is the thing. I got over to where I'm like, you know what? That little shit that I spent, I can deal with it. I can swallow that. I can make that shit back in no time. So this is what made me think, like, even though I spent that amount, I spent more money than that, Don. I'm, I'm getting to the meat and potatoes. All right, baby, give me some food. meat and potatoes because I'm, I'm hungry. I'm meat and potatoes of because, you know what I mean, I'm going to tell you all this shit. Okay, so let's move forward past that shit. I ain't getting none of that done, okay? And I got partners that's in my in, in my clique that I fuck with here in Indianapolis that can, can tell you the same shit, okay? They didn't spend money. I'm going to go into a lot of shit right now. I'm, I'm going to spend a whole lot of shit right now. So that was just the beginning on a personal level. I'm going to go to people that I know personally, you know what I'm saying, and what, and what they did also, okay? Now, I pay for all that shit. Ain't ain't made it past shit because the damn clientele got too high. So everybody, motherfuckers was calling in the radio, talking about, you know what I'm saying, they, they can't get in touch with somebody, their paperwork ain't done, they paid for this six months ago, they ain't got in touch with nobody. So this is all across the board. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly hearing this shit, each state, you know. So I'm like, okay, it ain't just me. It ain't just where I'm at. It's them that all across the board, you know what I mean? And my guy, my guy in Indiana that brought him here, before he brought him here, he brought books. He, he, he was backlogging books that he had paid for. He ain't even got them for, in over a year. And he still was fucking with him, giving him the benefit of the doubt. I don't understand. You know what, what do you mean backlogging books? What do you, what do you okay, mean? Okay, say for instance, say for instance, Don, you order, you got a book. You got books you, you write, right? And I order 20 of them, okay? I pay for them and everything. You got the invoice. You, it's sent to you. I'm convinced it's sent to you because I pay my money. But you don't fucking mail them to me. I don't get them for a whole damn year. You know what okay, I'm so he got him a year later. Yeah, and he okay. still brought him here, still was fucking with him. You feel me? So okay, okay. because he delivered the and, books, no matter if it was a day later or 365 days later. So that's the mentality of the dude you're talking about. So he still he sees that the obligation was fulfilled, though. It was fulfilled, but okay. it, and he still, you know, what I'm saying, he still was fucking with him. You know what I'm saying? And when he came here, he used to be hours late. You know what I mean? And I'm like, God damn, man. Yeah, I mean, but squash all that shit. The business type, the business side of New Covenant needs to be rectified. That's the main issue, okay? The information that the polite drops and shit like that, I done learned a whole hell of a lot from this dude. You know what I mean? The nigga's very knowledgeable. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, I peep little shit that didn't need to go on. You feel me? Like it was unnecessary. You know what I'm saying? And just moreover, what made me come out and speak on this shit is other people I'm hearing having different endeavors, like like on some personal, on real personal shit. You know what I mean? Like it really have affected them. You know what I mean? It ain't affected me like in that in that capacity. You know what I'm saying? Because I had the money when I spent it. It wasn't my last. I know motherfuckers that spit spit they last and, and pick, what did they and they, know they last on? On like it was a, it was a dude told me it was a cat man came up to him and was getting ready to sell his car to to purchase a, a service from them. It ain't got nothing to do against them, but I know the business mind and the business that goes on. I'm like man, you 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 in for a rude awakening, dude, because it's not going to be as expedient as he as he as he puts out. 
I don't get it. Wants it to I don't get it. Or not. Slow down. What do you, what what the car? What tell me about the car thing again? The dude was gonna sell his sell his car to purchase uh, a service. Like it was a, a PIH. He said a PIH. He said, man, this dude's never get ready to sell his fucking car. So it's what's a buy. PIA? A PIH. It's called this is this, 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 this is what he calls it. Private Interest Holding Foundation. Okay, it's 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 so many different facets. People, if, if if new covenant members are listening to this right now, they understand what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? They know what I'm talking about. If, if they listen to the blogs and shit like that and read the books, I I read the books and shit. So I got I probably got about 15 books from me. All the real estate shit. I got all that shit. You know what I mean? So and I'm gonna give you a number of of amount of money that I spent and I. I still don't give a damn. I ain't even asking for my money back. I don't even give a fuck about the money. It's not about the money. You know what I'm saying? Because I really don't care about What is it about, about if it's not about the money? It's about, it's about, it's about people who keep falling for a, a material. A lot of people are looking at the material aspect of it. I'm not looking. I didn't look at the material aspect of it. I looked at it as, you know, uh, me putting myself in a state of helping other people. Get myself right. You know what I mean? Because I saw it as a as an as a as a, as a, uh, a chance for me. Because uh, I still work I still work a job. I don't want I don't want to work. For people. I've never I've always been like that. So I looked at it as position for me. I'm still young to get out of the the the, the job market and start my own shit. You know what I'm saying? And then build from that people that I know. You feel me? That's how I seen it. You know what I'm saying? As a, as a, as a good opportunity. More right. So why like did me. you take the twelve hundred then? Why you just didn't start up a, a business that's, with the twelve hundred dollars? I mean, I mean, that's what I'm saying. I was convinced with the information. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You feel me? So I, I just put about five. Don has spent about five racks. I just put about five thousand dollars in this shit. So this is one person. Over how many years? Over two years? Yeah, going on two years. So this is just, this is just me, just one little me, and the guy that I fuck with. I added this shit up. This is just three people, mind you, if y'all listening, about 16 grand. And I'm fucking paraphrasing. I'm, I'm going to say it's more than that, you know what I mean? Because my dude, he didn't spend money bringing him here, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that. So you can add on to that, his charges for, for coming to your city and shit and doing a lecture. You can add on to that shit. But I'm adding the numbers that I know for a fact that they spent. I just you know gotta I mean? let me say this though. Let me say this has nothing to do with it. But isn't polite a great prostitute to y'all? God damn. This motherfucker is a good fucking prostitute. This nigga knows sixteen thousand out of three people and you're paying for him to show up? That's so a prostitution type shit. So peep game, Don. Let me let me tell you let me tell you something else. He had a he had a private auction supposedly for members right in June, this past June. Okay, my guys went down there. A private auction. Yeah, yeah it was a private auction. It was it was it's supposed to be new covenant inventory, shit that he got uh, that he didn't bought real estate whatever under new covenant, and they selling it to the members only. Okay, this is this okay. We talking about market. property. Yeah, this was markets, houses and, and and land. Okay. Everything I'm telling you is information that I've heard come from him and, and personally other people who told me, okay? So my guys go down there to the to the auction and shit, right? My one dude my one dude uh he in the auction, okay, and <laughs> the auction wasn't that many people, so he cut the houses down. You know what I mean? He had he had more houses on the list than he than he rejected. Than he expected because he expected more people, I guess. I don't know. Or maybe it was a fucking test run. It was in Chicago, okay? I think it was like 11 or, 11 or 12 houses or some shit like that, okay? And one of my guys bought a house. He bought a property, okay? He bought a property for 3500 okay? This was in June. Now, I went to a fucking county sale last year, and I read the rules and regulations. When you pay for a property, it's, it, they tell you. Give us six to eight weeks, and we'll have your deed. They give you a quick claim deed. My nigga ain't got his deed yet. I shouldn't have to call you. It wasn't that many fucking people there. This is the first option. I shouldn't have to call you and ask you nothing about nothing. Your business endeavor is supposed to be already set when you're talking about money like that. When you're talking about moving like that, your shit should already be set in place, my nigga. 
You know what I mean? So okay, slow, slow down you. for me. I'm sorry. Slow down for me. Now, at the private auction, what happened? What went on there? What, one of my guys bought a property. Okay, he purchased a property for like 3500 something like that. Somewhere in there. Okay. This was back in June, man. Okay. And he hasn't got his deeds yet. Does he have you know access I mean? to the property? Have he, have he acquired the property, though? No, I don't think so. It was in, it's in it's in a different state. This is the, the properties that he sold was in Pennsylvania. So was it on a slideshow presentation or something? No, 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 no. You could bring it up. I mean, it had the it had real parcel numbers and shit like that. No, and, no. And I'm asking. I'm trying that. to get no. the idea of how it. I'm trying to see this. I'm trying to see it. So you are y'all are at a private auction in some building. Is he using PowerPoint to show everything or what? No. How are y'all able to see the property? If y'all are in a building somewhere, you have to, well, the, the, the whole uh, rendition was to look up like on Zillow, or Google Maps, shit like that. Okay, so basically, the, what he gave y'all websites to look at at the private auction. Yeah, they could look. Some people had, you know, maybe laptops and shit like that, looking shit up. Oh, okay. With the, with the, oh. Uh, yeah, with the property okay, address and okay, all that. Okay. 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 I get it. I get it. Okay. So. Basically, at the private auction, he would tell people about the property. They would go look it up right then and there on their laptops and look at it. But Pete James, though, don't don't the city give you like a month ahead of time to look at fucking properties? They give you a month. They give you a, they print a list. I'm, I'm yes, getting ready to go to one next month. I'm getting ready to go to one next month here. They, they give do you a month. Right. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Give me one second. Two one five seven five eight. Uh, I'm sorry. Your mic is open, but can you give us a second, please? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. And um, uh, uh, four one two. Can you give us a second, please? Your mic yeah, is ahead. open. Okay. Thank you. All right. I'm re- I'm I'm sorry. Go ahead. You good? All right. Now they give you at least thirty days to do your due diligence. See if you got demolition orders on it. See what kind of, if you can find if motherfucker got liens on it, what have you. Whatever's wrong with the property, they give you enough time to study and, and do your due diligence. See what's wrong with the property. See if you really before you have purchase it. Thing. So right. was it, was there purchases made at the um, private auction that people just start buying right then and there? Well, I'm saying, my guys, no, my guys went there that the day the auction was. You know what I mean? He didn't get to see no property. This is this. This is all right around what I'm saying right now, Don. People are, are coming out, you know what I'm saying, and really taking losses. But see, the thing of it is, is if you're in a good space, I mean, you're going to get bit, which is what, what we are. You know what I'm saying? We're in, we in a good space. We got bit, you know what I mean? But I'm looking at the majority of the people that did, that it took this step, you know what I mean, and have really, really took a loss. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm coming out doing this shit. Right. Okay. How long ago was the private auction? This was in June. Of this year? Yeah. Oh, okay. And where we at now? In September? Yeah. And I'm, I'm, it's another guy. It's another nigga in California. He bought a property. My guy let him get the property. Okay? Because motherfucker couldn't even outbid my dude. He, he, uh, uh, he was really the fucking live part of the auction. You see what I'm saying? So... He looking at the dude. He's sweating. He let the dude have the property. The dude was so fucking happy. He said the dude stood up and hugged him. You know what I'm saying? He how much, he how much the was the property? He said rack on the property. How he much was 10, it? 10,000. 10, 10, it was about okay. six acres of land. It was about six acres of land. Some shit like that. You okay. know what I mean? It was, it was worth about 100 racks. The property was. Asset value. It was about worth about $100,000. Okay. Did he, he acquire the property after that? No, he, he ain't got his deed either. He drove from Cali. So have y'all, I mean, well, have they spoke to Polite about this? Yeah, my guys have spoke to it. You know what I mean? And I, I didn't, the thing with me is I've stretched, I've been stretched since last year uh, trying to get a couple things done, trying to find information about uh, uh, one one thing that really nobody was touching on, but I did, and I paid for it. But, it, I never got a chance to sit down with him and talk to him for whatever reason. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not chipping off that no more. I'm let, I'm, I let that shit all the way go. You know what I mean? So I'm not coming. I'm not coming out 
So the answer, I asked the question, have have they talked to Polite since June yeah. after they purchased, after they got, after he got his money, after he got their money, did they have a conversation in regards to the property that they're supposed to acquire from Polite? Yeah. They've talked to him. I'm not sure if they talked to him about the property. I know my dude. This is the thing, though, Don. As 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 a, as doing business, why should he? You see what I'm saying? Like after I after I after I purchase your after I purchase property, you should you should. So was to, there any document signed? Any contracts? Any any exchange of? Um, that I don't know. I don't know that for sure. So I ain't gonna put that out there. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, we need to out. find it'll out, out whether or not. I mean, that'll um, come out. I'm not gonna speak on shit. I don't know about. You know what I mean? Or oh, motherfucker ain't told me. Right. Well, uh, just in case, I just want to speak on it because I know a lot yeah. about it. I don't know what the fuck Polite is doing. But did did Polite own all the property that he was I having the private I, I auction with? I, I don't know that either, for sure. Okay. So I, ain't, I ain't seen that. Book. So I all mean, the books that Polite has written in regards to real estate and trust and property he never is not mentioned in the book on <laughs> on um, how real estate transactions work. He didn't explain it in its entirety. So, therefore, by the time you get to an auction, whether or not it's by the writer that wrote the books, but shouldn't you know, shouldn't you get a heads up, shouldn't you automatically know? If First of all, if I bought a lot of books on real estate from one person and now I'm about to go buy some property from them, I think I would have a heads up on how yeah, you're right. pro- property yeah. sales work and property transaction works, be it an auction or not, but that's still a transaction on real estate. Exactly. Now, people game, Don, this is, where I'm, this is where I'm coming from. The kindness and the, and the trust that motherfuckers didn't have is the problem. You see what I'm saying? So we 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 deviated off principle. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody deviated off principle and went into with this trust me shit. Well, we trusted you, man, and you ain't you you have it you have it you haven't uh uh upheld your end of the bargain. Is what I'm saying. You know what I mean? So that's a problem. That becomes a problem over if it's multiple people, which is that's a problem now. You see what I'm saying? And Nobody came out and really spoke on it, man, as far as uh, uh, constructive criticism. This is what I'm calling this. I'm calling it constructive criticism because you know that things are not getting done, man, because if, if it takes 60 to 90 days to do a status correction, man, and you got numerous people doing it, well, right now you should have a whole lot of security party creditors out here. That so, it went from, um, so it went from the... The purpose of the New Covenant membership is for what? I mean, there's a whole, what he, what do you call it, a humanitarian form? Okay. And people that with likeness and, and, and uh, like minds and coming together as a community, as a collective, and acquiring properties and, and building a community. You know what I'm saying? Basically. Okay. So, okay. So that's the, the membership. The so you join the New Covenant on that foundation. Okay. I did. I did it. I did it to 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 build with motherfuckers that that look like me. You know what I'm saying? In the conscious community and people that that want something more life. You know what I'm saying? That that they're just not stuck on working the nine to five and shit. They want to invest. They want to be around their people and shit like that. Which is all wise and exact. That's how I think. That's well, not actually like said, all wise and exact. For the de- record, we deviated though. That's what I'm saying. We deviated. The weed that I know you're I speaking about that deviated is who? Most of the people with New Covenant has joined and with expectations of something, and it, it kind of turned, the wave turned. You know what I'm saying? The, the, right. The current, yeah, I mean, what, what was expected, but, and it's not enough, it's not enough, um, I say, people to rectify the, the clientele or help the people walk through this, is what I'm saying. Like I said, when I first started, I could contact them easily. There wasn't that many members in there. You know what I mean? Okay, so now to, we got so big that Yeah, it's it's thousand it's probably over two thousand people. I know it's over two thousand members in there in, in New Covenant. Okay. But if you only got one caseworker, if you got one case one known caseworker, okay, how in the hell is he gonna handle two thousand people, man? 
It ain't gonna well, happen. that one thousand, that two thousand people in one caseworker, that one caseworker doesn't have to handle two thousand people. That one caseworker, all it needs to handle is the four hundred or five hundred dollars that he takes from the two thousand people. I don't necessarily have to handle. I, I'm gonna no, no, show no, no. up for four for four hundred dollars, my nigga. I'm gonna That's show nuts. up for four hundred dollars to get. Four hundred dollars from each, from every two thousand person. Do I have to uh, handle two thousand? No, I already handled two thousand by getting four hundred dollars. But I'm saying though, the reason why they did it was the whole uh, uh, what they said it comes with. Okay, the case worker. I just is I can't to walk believe you it. Through. That's all I'm telling you. I'm telling you what. I what just was can't it believe it. I just. You know what I'm, I mean? Thank you so much, but I just I just can't believe this. Not believe what you're saying. I just can't believe this. This whole this 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 thing. Like in other words, when I what I mean by I can't believe this, uh-huh. this to me is um, religion. It's not real. Religion. It's not. Yeah. Who says religion? That's fine. Religion, religion is good too. But even in religion, I understand. But this is not real. I know real from fake in the day-to-day operations or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? It could be a barber shop. It could be any fucking thing. It could be a detail. It could be a car wash uh, inside of a dark alley. I would know it's still a real car wash because I would see the equipment and I would see people working to get it done, to wash it, whatever, even if they're using a bucket and a water hose connected to the outside of a fucking brick building. I know what's real. That's why I said I cannot believe this. I, I, you, I, in other words, in other words, let's do it this way. I understand about membership, okay? If I set up something right now, okay, that's fine. I'll join, you'll join. That's membership. I understand yeah. membership. That's great. But the extra shit added to the membership is where your real sense of awareness has to kick in, that extra shit, extra shit like trust, extra shit like secure party, extra shit like uh, private auction and property and real estate. That extra shit should become absolutely fucking real. In other words, where... Oh, I just can't believe that y'all read all his books and believe everything he said to the fact to the point that the private all auction should have kicked in. All of it was in the books. All of it was not in the books, though. It's just some of it, like the information, like uh, say for instance, different law terms and shit like that. It 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 gives you it gives you a breath. It and you could have got a black law dis- dictionary uh, I, I you, that was, for that. I got you. You could have got a black slot dictionary or, or kept the internet connection going, pay the bill paid once a month to just Google shit. Yeah. So that's neither here or there. It's kind of like, like I said, we're dealing with knockoffs. These are knockoffs. They're fake. They remind me of Chinese people and Senegalese motherfuckers or Nigerians that are selling people fake-ass Louis bags. Mm-hmm. And as soon as the zipper breaks on the Louis bag, you go back to the fucking Chinese or the fucking Nigerian motherfucker that stands outside with the fake-ass bags and shit, and you say, hey, I want my money back. The damn zipper don't work. And they say, well, ain't nothing we can do. There is no cash back. You're fucked. But let me tell you what happens to that same person. The same person just says to themselves, I will no longer fuck with that person. But there's yeah. another Senegalese or Nigerian vendor across the fucking street. So now you still decide to do business with people that sell knockoffs. You don't yeah. just completely stay away from knockoffs and bootleg salesmen. You still fuck with another bootleg salesman. So that's just, that's, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's, y'all don't understand that there is no easy route. There is no easy route to take to success. That's what people have to understand. There's no easy route to prosperity. Thank you, Neff. There's no shortcuts. And these niggas are selling everybody fucking shortcuts that leads them to the short end of a stick. It gets you nowhere. They don't and let me let's go to real estate for a minute, okay? Now, the best example that we have for real estate 
is real estate. The key word is real. Real property. If you look in any real estate book, the definition of real estate, it says the real state of being. What happens is when you are listening to phony, fake-ass motherfuckers, you tend to apply a fictitious state of being or what I call it a fake state of being. The opposite of real state is fake state. So what it, they did is a fake left go right, and it's just fucked up. It's sad because we're talking about 2,000 people that have no knowledge of nothing and depending upon some Negro to give them that and to open the door for them. But still, you would still need to have your knowledge to make sure there ain't nobody scamming you. Like, before I even do business in real estate with anybody, I need to know my real estate first. I need to know the law that I live in, real estate law first. So that way you can't even come at me kicking some whole willy willy lump lump ass shit at a private auction that ain't even fucking real. You have to goddamn... Check the deeds first. Make sure it's a clean deed. That means that you're going to have to get in your car or take the bus and go to the courthouse and go into the county records, the deeds uh, department of the county records and deeds, and ask this bitch to pull out that big-ass notebook they got. It's a huge-ass folder, depending on if they upgraded in technology or not. But it's a huge book, and then that hoe turns the page to the fucking lot number and all that type of stuff, and and it shows you who owns the property, who pri who owned the property after that and before that, and it's called a chain. It's called a chain. And if the chain is broken, then we know that there's an issue right there. There's an issue right there. But the whole point of it is is to know if that shit is legit. It's just fucked up. I just feel so bad about this. Now, Pete Gang, all right, the, the, um, the information – this is as far as I'm, I know. I've seen the paper that they had at the auction. They brought it back to the crib and shit when they came back from the auction. They, they had a parcel number because we looked it up. We had the parcel number. Sure, it I went on the. I went on the, I went on the, That's why I'm telling you, as far as all the information that they had, they had the parcel number and all that shit. They had uh, how much the property was worth, what uh, the lot uh, right. number and all that Right, you can look at shit. all of that online, but that's not yeah, the point. You, you still have to go that's to the all. courthouse. Did anybody I, I go to the courthouse? Listen, this is this is what I'm saying. This is all they had, though. Okay, so in order to find who owned it, you had to have the lot numbers. But they didn't get that until they went to the auction. So this is what I'm saying. Oh, uh, so he kind of, like, lured you to the auction because you needed to know the lot number. This nigga is scamming. Because it, it was private. I'm like, okay. No such That's thing cool. as private. If the no, land is public information, there's no such thing as private. I'm, People fucking use your the, mind. Think. How can it be private when you send me on the World Wide Web to look at the shit? Well, that means you're is, holding something the, back from me. That means that's exactly, probably his Don, shit, too. Exactly, Don. So I'm like this. Why? Uh, uh, and it was a, a, it was a fee. That you had to pay when you got there so you can get in the auction. It was to, a to fee register. you had which to pay. Is, which is I thought this was for private members. Here. I thought y'all get, like, um, for private, I mean, be, I mean, come on now, you're a New Covenant member. You got to pay. I thought it's, I think the public will pay if they're not a member to come into an auction. But where's the perks of being a member of New Covenant if y'all got to pay for everything? Well, this is why I'm coming out and I'm saying what I got to say because I want motherfuckers to question in their mind. Because I'm done with it. You feel me? I'm right. done with that shit. I don't want my money back. I don't even give a fuck. Well, you ain't going to get your money back even if you wanted yeah. it back. Yeah, I'm not even tripping, Don. I don't even give a fuck I about would trip, though, because I realize this I in already business. Let me, let me say something. Yeah. This is one thing I understand about business. Now, let me ask you a question. You walk mm -hmm. into a Arab store. Yeah. Or let's say Walmart. And you purchase... Whatever. Let's say you purchase a goddamn television, and the fucking by the time you take it home, plug it in, the shit don't work. What do you do? I would take it back to the store. You take that shit back to the fucking store, and what do you say when you get there? I want my money back. 
But this motherfucker don't work. I yeah. want my yeah. money back. This shit right. does not work. I want my money back. I find it interesting, and this is going to be your setback. All you niggas downfall. When it comes to nigga doing business with nigga and giving you high hopes on how you can become successful, why you niggas don't demand the same shit back from that motherfucker? New Covenant is a goddamn business. Right. It's a goddamn business. It's the yeah. same shit I go through when I used to get calls from the Wabians, right? And these mm-hmm. motherfuckers would call me and complain about other All Eyes on Egypt stores and how they haven't received their books. It's been years or six months, eight months, and still ain't got shit. And then they say to me, but that's okay. I ain't mad. I'm just going to get over it. It's not really about the money. And I say, yes, the fuck it is about the money and I say yes the fuck it is that's a business Jack that's a business if it was the white man you would be in his face right the fuck now saying I want my goddamn money back if it was a you man you would be in his face right now saying I want my money back if it was a goddamn Chinese man you would be in his fucking face saying I want my money back but how come for some reason somebody said I think aunt said it when it comes to that religious hearted Mentality, that's a religious-hearted mentality where you cannot see the difference between a business transaction and your salvation. That's a big fucking difference. My salvation is not based on $5,000. My salvation is based on me making sure I do right and perfect myself, and that shit don't cost me a dime. But when I give you $5,000 fucking dollars, motherfucker, that's a business transaction. That means that you are responsible for fulfilling every obligation and services that you said it cost that I paid. Therefore, motherfucker, this is business, Jack. This ain't got shit to do with my religious mind of being becoming sanctified or having my salvation and my liberty and my freedom. That shit is free. That don't cost you nothing. That don't cost nothing. So at this time, I'm just telling you niggas, y'all better fucking throw your receipt up, take these niggas to court. Y'all better get y'all motherfucking money back because if not, these motherfuckers are getting stronger every day. It's more and more scam Negro artists in the form of salvation. Like-minded people, we could come together and build a mighty nation. These motherfuckers is getting powerful. Do you hear me? When polite is destroyed, it's going to be another motherfucker come up. But y'all niggas got the power to stop these niggas by taking them to the fucking court. Bring out your fucking receipts. And you can sue a nigga for fraud. That nigga fraudulently fucking scammed y'all. And there are white people too fucking day that will take a fake ass insurance salesman, a fake roofer, a fake goddamn vacuum cleaner salesman to fucking court over that shit. To court. What the fuck is wrong with you niggas? I don't get that shit. You don't give me my fucking money, motherfucker. I'll put a lien on your ass. That's right. That's how that shit roll. Because I will fight a fucking cracker over a dollar. I will fight a Jew man, a nigga over a dollar. We're talking about my money here. We ain't talking about nothing else. This is a business. Courts are business. They mm-hmm. deal with transactions. They gonna have to charge that nigga, and you gonna, you can sue him. But you niggas don't want to play like that. Mm-hmm. So, therefore, That's they keep I'm... growing. They're going to keep well, growing. Down. When the That's last time with... have anybody took a con artist to fucking court? That's why I had to blow Somebody black, because crackers do it all the time. Mm. Jews do it all the time. All, everybody else do it. But when it comes to nigga and salvation, you motherfuckers get blinded by the right thing to do and the wrong thing to do. You niggas get blinded. All of a sudden now it's like it's morals. It's the principle. Nigga, that's a legal term. The word principle is a legal fucking term. That means it deals with law. So you take that nigga to court on the principle. That's a legal term. That's not. I thought we were past Jesus. We don't turn the other cheek. We don't turn the other cheek. This is justice, nigga. This is a debt. You don't look at it like this. This is what makes black people unsuccessful. You see it as, you know what, I'm going to chalk up the 1200 or the five grand. 
this ain't, it's my purpose, my platform. The reason why I'm on your show, Don, is to let other people know. Fuck all that. Think like a motherfucking multi-billionaire. If you lose a penny, motherfucker, you can't sleep. That's right. <laughs> That's the only way we can come up and rise to economic power because, my nigga, a white person to see it as twelve five thousand dollars in debt. You see right. it as five thousand dollars. I'll just chuck it. No, right. you're five thousand dollars in debt, and that nigga owes you, and you become now the creditor. You're now the creditor. Well, so I mean, now I'm, I'm... you need to get that nigga on that five thousand dollars plus loss of legal fees and court fees and shit, right and take that know. son of a bitch. The fucking goddamn people's court, goddamn it. I really, I really just wanted to start it out, like, really let motherfuckers know, because I don't think motherfuckers are acting like they're going to come out Man, I just keep out telling you, shit. they get stronger and stronger. When will I'm, a con man stop? When he finds out that niggas done woke up and niggas is suing motherfucking niggas over money and obligations that they did not fucking fulfill. That's yeah. when these con-ass niggas stop playing whole games. That's right. That's yeah, when they I know stop. I'm, I know a lot of people, like black people, are, 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 tend to be ashamed of shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm not ashamed. That's why I told you I'm the whole personal endeavor. I would be, you know that nigga saying? would be in court, him and his three nappy headed bitches. And when he, <laughs> and when All them bitches yeah. would be, they would be sitting right next to that motherfucker. They have a hand in it. All yeah, them he bitches. Is, he and, know and I, am. I don't play that shit. I will sue you. I will sue mm -hmm. you. If I slip on some mayonnaise at Walmart, I'm suing. If there's a hole in the street that flats my tire, I'm suing the city. I am a sewer. Okay, I don't give a fuck how black you are. I'm suing, motherfucker, because you wrong. Either you fix your shit or we're going to make you, god damn it, pay up. Either you get right or get left. This is not the day and time for this shit. Yeah. I used to see if any new off ass motherfuckers. This is what happens. That, you know you spent $5,000 and your main purpose of joining New Covenant is to build something great for yourself and everybody else called the business or whatever. That's your $5,000 startup. But you still yeah, have a job right. and you've been a member of New Covenant for two fucking years, but you still got to work. That's You know two years ago you would have been able to walk into your own business, whether it's retail or whatever, and that means that at this point, two years later, you would have been two years in business. You wouldn't right. even need that job that you still on. And that's why that's why I met why I met down with that. Like fuck it, I'm on something else. I didn't I didn't let this shit go, especially for what I've heard previously within the last couple of months. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because I I kind of got back up to to to. This is this is this is what really kind of stepped me out. I was on the radio one night, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucking go back and listen to it. I'll tell you which one it is, you know what I mean? I'm on, he on the radio, him and uh, him and your boy on Lawan on the radio, and I text him a question, right? Because I was at work, I couldn't call any shit. So he asked my question online, out loud, and shit. Called my name out and everything. He knows who I am, you know what I mean? So the guy. He, my question was, hey, what what changes have they made? Because I couldn't get in touch with him. You know what I mean? So I'm like, well, shit, this is my only time. Then I catch him on the radio. Let me see if I could get in and ask a question. He asked, what changes have they made for my text? This is where I put in my text. So he he called it out loud. And Dula Wong was like, my question to Mike is, is he doing the status correction? Man, I talked to him the next day and I told him, I said, man, you know I already know the deal with me. You know what I mean? You know exactly what went down when we first started. You know what I'm saying? And and I, I reminded him of it. And when I did, he said, man, you're right. You know what I'm saying? You dropped that, that 1,200. You told me what was what, what was what. I'm like, you damn right, because I wasn't playing games. You know what I mean? So that right there kind of was like, nigga, you know exactly who I am. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not just, I ain't just joined. You know what I mean? We ain't, we, I ain't just talked to you for one time. I done talked to you numerous times about shit. You know what I'm saying? I done met you in person. Your family. You done met my family. You know what I mean? So that kind of made me step back all the way back. And then when I heard some old shit that just, that's going on, I, ain't, I don't even want to speak on that shit. But it's going to come out, though. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you I'm might as well speak on it. I don't even want I don't, I, cause I ain't even trying to kill that like that. You know what I mean? Man, so come on. Give it to us. 
and I want I want members to come because I know the majority of the people are not going to be like, yeah, I still I thought, your job, I thought you was going to help those that listen, that, to this, that listen to this show that's members of New Covenant. I mean, we have a lot of New Covenant this. listeners. So maybe yeah, this wanna, could help them see. This, they got to maybe say this is the part that will wake them up. Maybe this is the part. Say. That <laughs> shit you holding back, maybe that is the most valuable, pertinent information to waking them up. You should give it to us. Well, I'm going to tell, tell you this, though. Everything that's been said in the public ain't what's what. You know what I mean? And like mm-hmm. I said, it's don't, everything that's been said in the public at these lectures and at, at these debates and shit like that ain't what's what. That's we all know I'm that. Yeah, they okay, all, I'm, they, I'm, everybody I'm, know that. But say what you ain't going to say. But they don't say. know. I don't think they know, like, exactly. You feel me? Everybody doesn't know tell what us, exactly goes yeah, That's we, what I'm We do saying. know. Like, but tell us what we don't know. Tell us that part that you said you ain't even going to say that yet. <laughs> I, <laughs> That's what we want to hear. You're cornering me. You're we cornering probably me, already I'm know a, it, though. No, I mean, I'm, 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 I always realize when somebody think they got something, that they so want I mean, to hold back and wait until yeah, the I, light turns on, but we probably already know it. Yeah, I mean, it ain't shit. I'm, I, I'll, I'll tell you. It's like this. Uh, the whole, uh, and this is why I'm coming out and doing this shit, because this is an auction last month, you feel me, in New York or whatever. I don't know nothing about that one, but I guess he's supposed to have another one in October. So I'm like, you're going to have to rectify the situation, and you're going to at least have to sit down. I'm, this is why I'm really coming out, too. Another reason why I'm coming out for him, to, I'm putting him on notes. You know what I mean? It's so like, look, man, you got a lot of shit. You got a lot of backlog that you need to come back and take care of. You know what I mean? For you try to push forward and push your other shit. You feel me? So, and, and, and let other motherfuckers know, like, look, I got out of whatever. He can come on and do that. I ain't got no problem with that. I'm just putting it out there right now. I'm giving him the opportunity. He's going to hear this. He's going to hear motherfuckers tell me. you giving him the whatever. opportunity to do what? I give him the opportunity to rectify people's issues. You know what I mean? Because it's, oh, it's not wow. getting taken care of. You know what I mean? Wow. You well, have, I mean, you have, the, you have the, the woman mentality. I ain't got a woman mentality because I was. Yeah, watch. not like, to belittle you, but that's a woman know, mentality. When, when a woman sees that a nigga ain't shit, she mm-hmm. tells herself, I'm going to give him a chance <laughs> to get right. Yeah. And and still expecting well, this motherfucker to do something different as if it's in their, his nature. Well, is this it, how it was it for two die, years? It's going to hurt him. You, it's going to hurt him, not me. Let me say this. First of all, you're not the three bitches that he fucks, that he lives with. So mm. you are not even in the fucking bedroom. So you uh. are an outsider demanding that the people in that goddamn house do right by you by rectifying situations. These are the three bitches that go on YouTube and happy that they get the goddamn ball out of control with y'all fucking money that he decides to take them shopping one day with. So how is they going to rectify anything when they are living swell? They are enjoying y'all 2,000 member donations and money of hopes to be sovereign and secured and to get y'all some land. These hoes and goddamn polite niggas, they ain't got to rectify a goddamn thing because they are living the American dream off of y'all's nightmare. Mm-hmm. So if I'm like, having I, a good dream, when yeah. do I rectify your nightmare and I'm dreaming good? Right. I feel you. But, you know, it's, it, all this is is a whistleblower. Like, let motherfuckers know what's really real. I'm, I'm coming from, just coming from a motherfucker that actually had personal in, in, endeavors and business transactions with you. So I'm giving you the real shit. So anything that comes out, motherfuckers talking about this ain't happening and all that, I'm going to prove it. You know what I mean? So... Everything I told you, I can prove that. My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move with me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple. Reality simple. My black people, it's all about the unity. There's nothing they can do with us, so ain't nobody move with me. Like that the king, we make it plain and simple. Bringing knowledge and fire at reality simple.